Hi guys, welcome to Forever Retro. My name is Mark and this is my trusty sidekick Will. Say hi Will. Hi guys. And today we're going to show you one of our epic attic halls. Is that what we call it? Epic yeah. attic yeah. hall? Yeah. So um, yesterday, I, oh, oh no, I'll tell the story. Yesterday I went into someone's house and went up in their attic stroke loft. Um, to find to look take a look at some retro toys and see what they had and see what I could take off them and um, I was quite surprised by what I found So I'm going to show you the entire haul Including something at the end, which yeah, is a very big surprise a very big surprise wasn't expected at all um, That's gonna be at the end of the video. So stay tuned But it's worth staying tuned for yeah. so I'm going to take you through what we bought and we'll see if we can remember what they're all called because yep. I think I can remember we think we can remember most of them. So we're going to start with this. A Y wing. A y -wing from Star Wars. Retro. Obviously retro and in vintage condition needs a bit of cleaning. And we but, nearly didn't get it because you missed it yesterday. Yeah, I had to go back today to get this one because I emptied a box and then I went back today to see if there were any weapons that had dropped out of any if anything. And this was in the box that I thought I'd emptied. Don't know how I missed it. It's quite a big item. It's in pretty good nick, ain't tested it all yet there's got some buttons here all the buttons that don't really work. so if we can find the battery compartment yeah. we'll probably find out and it's got the still got the cockpit, you see still got the cockpit. and i also found this inside it which is i think it's a clock a clock for luke skywalker maybe yeah, it could be for luke. so we've got the clock so that can go back in there for now so that's his first find yep that's pretty good we think as next one, do we go this one? Yep. This one is a battle damaged X wing, and it is battle damaged. And then it's damaged just normally, but yeah, it's in a sorry state, but it was we have to take it anywhere because it might be good for parts. We don't know yet. Yeah. We'll see. Um, it's also got some. I haven't got them attached yet. It's got the I forgot what you call them, black bits that stick off it. It has got them. The cockpit has ended up all warped. Yeah. So it's not in great nick, but still a good find. Mm -hmm. It's an original. Let's have a look. 1983, I think. That, yeah, 1983, I think. Oh, yeah, it doesn't say on these ones, but so I think it's 1983. Far, but I around then. There you go, a little. Inside. That's a second find from the yeah. same attic. Obviously, there might be a theme here. We don't know. The third find. Let's welcome. What's this one, Will? Is it a snow speeder? I think? It's a snow speeder. This one's in pretty good nick. I think it's yeah. missing its back i think it's meant to have some back boosters or rockets there it's missing think, them i no. think it is and when i've looked at them it, and it's meant to have a um i think there's an attachment that goes here yeah. the cockpit still works it's just cockpit is bit... there just needs a good clean yeah, it's a bit hard to close there shuts still there the leg still pops out let's see if we can do the leg there you go oh, that's cool, isn't the it? leg pops out and this one is from 1980 it is a Kenner products one. So yeah, that's in no, pretty good nick. So that was a nice find for us. Yeah. That'll look perfect. We're doing a Star Wars display. Yep. So that will look perfect in our Star Wars display. And we don't know where we're going to do it, but we're going to do it. Yeah, somewhere. we're going to do it somewhere. We've got some glass um, cabinets that we're going to display it all in. Bye keep it all Ikea. nice. Clean it all up. Ikea. Send us it for free. www.ikea. Next one. Wait, let me let me sort him out. Oh, here we go. Oh, 
And this is, I think they call it a... A-T-S-T. A-T-S-T, these are called. Oh, A-T-S-T. It's a scout. I think it's called the scout walker, I think they call them. Yeah. It's got the guns. Oh, it's got all the guns still. Well, this was another epic find. A nice cool cockpit. You can open that. That whole part, and you can open the whole thing. As you can see, it's got a bit of yellowing. Yeah. But we're going to clean them all up. But we kind of like that they've been well played with. Yeah. Toys should be played with. That's but we kind of like that these have been well played with. There you go, look at him. Exactly, maybe one of them. Which is going to be shown at the end. Ooh. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. So you can go back down here. Um, shall we go this one? Yep. Oh, it's a big one. Yep. Oh, uh, I've I got him. Here we go. He's gonna rise up. Whoa. Whoa. It's a um, rebel refugee carrier, I think. I think that's what it's called. Is yeah. what it's called? Well, I don't think it's called refugee carrier, but rebel what? carrier. Yeah, it no. carried the rebel Bobby. refugees. And this has got. It's still got all the parts, so you've got the cockpit there. Yeah, I think it can fit a lot of things in it. Ooh. What's that in there? Oh, there the stickers that have come off oh, yeah. with age, obviously. So it's got the cockpit, it's got the gun on the top. Um, let I me think get it into this other bit. Into no, it looks like that button. Let me take that out. And it's got the front area, which I think is meant to hold some <laughs> cannons of some sort as well, but they're missing. But Still a nice find in an attic. The back, but... Ooh, and a bit weird colour. There we go, look at that. Mm. How do you like them apples? So, nice. that's all them vehicles down. Yep, and then, and then we go that one. And then we go this one. Yep, so let's try this. We'll this. So this one isn't a vehicle, finally. This is... This is from Jabba the Hutt's palace, I think they call it. Yep, Jabba the Hutt is meant to sit on top, but we haven't got Jabba the Hutt. And we haven't got the things there. And the things here, and his pipe, and his that little geezer guy. But we think we're going to try and find them if we can. Yeah, buy them. But still got its chain. For Leia. Is that for Leia or yeah. is it for the little no, guy going the blokey? I, I did one. get told his name today, but I forgot his name. Yeah, I found it on It will be on the phone, but my stream. phone is there, so I can't look it up. Yeah. So, that's quite a good find because that gives us a start to, because I bought, I always wanted this toy as a kid. Well, not just this, I wanted Jabba the Hutt as a kid. Yeah. I think nearly every 70s and 80s kid did. So now I can try and find a loose Jabba and... Which you All can find parts. quite easily on eBay. And build up its own little yep. one. Like that's in quite good condition, actually, that one yep. as well. And that's from 83. How did I know? By oh, Kenner. Yep, Kenner again. And then. Okay, and then and what we're doing the figures, yep. or are we doing this? Figures first. Figures first, okay. okay. The and remember, stay tuned, we've got two more good things coming, and then we might even do a bonus at the end. Yep. So we've got a lot of so, Star Wars figures, we'll show you them all, and we'll get out some good ones. Yeah, the like box full of Star Wars figures. Yep, and these In the same the, attic. Yep, and the, I'll show you the ones that I think might be worth some at. And the cool ones, obviously. So there's Darth Vader. I'll hold them while you show them. <laughs> That's so so Darth Vader with a vinyl. Cape. I think you have to be very careful because it does. Yeah. It can easily yeah, tear. It's, on that there. it's got a little bit of a dent. So there you go. Oh, Darth. He is missing his lightsaber thing that goes into his arm. But we're going to try to find that. But that'll look good displayed. Nice and find. And then we've got the White Teeth. Um, Lando Calrissian in his party costume. Very good condition. Um, still feels. It feels like he hasn't really been played with. It feels like. Very kind of new. It, yeah. Like you can move his legs really easily. Let me just adjust the lighting and see if we can get him better. Yeah. Use carry on. Like that. And like that looks quite good. And Sorry. then we've got Yoda. 
missing his snake and his staff. Staff, yeah. But it's still quite a cool figure. He'll probably go well with some stuff. Yeah, let's have a look. I think he was 1980, I think. Yeah. I think he's the killer version, I think. Hong Kong. And I think, actually, no, we've got one, one off, no, two more figures. We've got a lot more, we'll show a few oh, yeah, more. Yeah, two more yeah. we're going to show because. Okay. Yep. Um, so we've got Obi Wan Kenobi, grey hair with a nice other vinyl, vinyl, vinyl cape. Let it zoom in. Quite cool. There you go, can you see him? And if you can't, too bad. Hello, but he's missing his sword, but. Not sword, That's lightsaber. Lightsaber. His lightsaber, but he's got the vinyl coat, he's got the grey hair. I think he's from 77. There you go, nice find. And then we've got, I think, probably last but not least. Well, we might do a few more, but yeah. Yeah, yeah this is another good one. I've just got to find. Yeah, you carry on oh, with that okay. one. Okay. So we've got this Ewok with a staff, which is very cool. I found an Ewok alone for about a tenner on eBay. Uh, hopefully, that's just like the average price. We don't know if this, we think, um, I might be wrong. I think they call it a last 17. We don't know. Yeah. But we don't know much about collecting yet. So that's him there. Nice Ewok. This one is, I like this, this is one of my favourites. Yep. Pretty sure it's Leia. Yep. Yep, in a sand costume. It's like thing. a bounty yeah. hunter, I forgot what they call it. Bosch, maybe. Bosch, I don't know. That might be right, might be wrong. It's oh, when yeah. she goes to rescue. Mm. Does she go rescue? Can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't watched him in a bit. And the helmet comes off. Mm. There you go. Nice figure that. That is a very nice yeah. figure. And it's good condition. Fine. Been played with, but good condition that. And I like this guy. And there's him as well. He's quite cool. Mm. So there's these two that were found. Yeah. He's a for... medical droid, I think. Yep. What? We've also got that as well. Oh yeah, we forgot one of his major ties and we also found that which we worked out what is today. Yeah. So the laser cannon. And we do have the stands. We do have the stands for it. Right tie now. fighters, we've got Han Solo. I think that's Han Solo. Yep. We've got this deep geezer. Like we've got him with a oh he's got a weapon. So we've got a few weapons as well. Yeah. Which are always good, we just need to match them up. So if anyone can tell us what the we what they go with, some then you can yellow. comment below. Yep. Is that all the weapons? Yeah, I reckon that's it. Oh, another weapon here. Yeah, it's like a bow. No, it's like a bow. Yeah, oh, we've got him. Yellow Bosk. guy. Here. Bosk, the bounty on We don't that. talk like that, but there we go. That's as big as it was found. Oh, this is... One Definitely going on display. I can't believe we right, forgot it's it. Cool. Now this is cool. And if you don't know Star Wars much, it does go with the Darth Vader we recently just showed you. Yeah. Comes with him, Mr. Darth Vader. A bit in bad con not hey, it's it's in, in good, good condition, condition. It just needs a bit of cleaning. Needs cleaning. Yeah. Tried the I batteries yesterday. Know. The batteries actually would go in, but the button doesn't seem to move on it to make the lights. But I might take a look at that, see if I can loosen it off. I don't know. There'll be some YouTube videos. And then you've got your cockpit. Can you see inside the cockpit? Not really, but it's just black. But that is going on display yeah. at Forever Retro HQ. And on to the next one. It'll be okay. I'll leave it like that. Right. So now on to something that we sorry, something that we have been after for a bit. A bit. We've always wanted one of these. Yep. Are you stayed have you stayed tuned? Have you liked and have you subscribed? This is the big reveal, but it is still big. This is the second big reveal. So stay tuned. I'll give Don't you a, I'll go give away you a clue yet. before Don't pause before it. we reveal it, I'll give you a clue and you can get in the comments. I would very like a Lego version of it. Oh, 
Ooh, get the pirate. I wonder what it is. Here it comes. Now they still need to go clean. Yeah, it's quite dirty, but it probably has been played with quite a lot because it is the Millennium Falcon. There he is. Whoa. That's meant to happen. And the Millennium Falcon. We've got most of the parts. Yep, we've even Sorry. got the table. We've got the little satellite, the gun. We've got the, the door for the bottom and the stand table. Gambling table. Not in gambling. It's That's that, that chest thing. Yeah. Beach. We've got the chair. Yep. Got all the in, insides of it. The front does come off. So that comes off and goes on there. So that is a really good find, and that is going to look really brilliant on display. And I think this was, I don't know what year this is from. I can't turn it up, it. turn it over. But don't matter what year, it's still an epic find. Yep. In a loft or an attic. Mm -hmm. So look at that for a find. And then, can't you see the front? Don't think it's been out in the attic for over 30 years. But again, well played with, but still, I like the kind of the condition as long as we get it a little bit of a clean. It's got a bit of TLC. The shooting part, we do have the cover, I've just took it off as you can tell. So I think that's meant to be the original colour. And then it's gone a bit yellowy on the rest of it, but we'll work on it. Well, it's always going to look kind of bad, will not it? Yeah. Work in progress. So that we are very, 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 yeah, that, very, that was very expecting and very happy good, with. yes. And then on to our last one. Why you've been staying tuned? Are you still tuned in? No, no. I don't need to do these, are we? Oh, we're saving. Oh, no, he wants to push it on even. Yeah, further. we need you to watch. So away from the attic hall, we, we also... We very quick because they're all from eBay. No, this, were... oh, this one was from eBay. This is to go with Ooh, my hat collection. Yep. So I will put it on. It is. Uh, hey, Retro Ninja Turtles. Retro hat. Ninja Turtle Donatello hat from 1990. It just about fits my head. And it looks very good. And it looks very good. Of course, it looks good. So that's. The first one, though. The first one, apparently. But I thought that was quite a good find. 1990. It's in Great Nick. Donatello. Everyone loves a bit of turtles. If you don't, then you're wrong. And then I bought this off the guys from the Leicester Toy and Vintage Shop. I don't know if you've seen their YouTube videos, but they've Go got great videos. Go check them out. They currently do a toy shop on tour, which is really, really good to watch. And they did on their Facebook, they did some stuff to buy. And I bought this off them because this just took me right back to my childhood. It is... Dennis the Menace Fan Club. Dennis the Menace Fan Club original. And it's got the badges inside. And it's also got, I think this is the rules card. I'm going to take out and show you. So this has got, what's it say? Club badges. And on the back it says the passwords and Nasha words. Oh, and then you open it up. Even more. And who else was a member of the Dennis the Menace fan club or the um, Beano? It's not Beano. Yeah, from Beano. Or the, I think it was Dandy fan club as well. I think my brother was a member of that. I don't have it because I wasn't alive. I used to have this as a kid and I've always wanted it back. And now I've got it back and now I'm a member again. So I'm very excited. And it also came with this 1988 Dennis the Menace watch, which I might actually wear. Just needs a battery in it, otherwise it's always whatever time that is. I'll check. You don't even have the numbers on it, I don't want to tell what. Well, it's always that time. I think it's like four o'clock, isn't it? Jiggle time. Always four o'clock, four o'clock. Right, and then, um, as I said, I went to a sci-fi fair in Sheffield. I'd stayed over in Sheffield. And Literally uh, stumbled upon the DeLorean. And 
I found a store that was selling some cool artwork. So this was the first one that I bought. And it is number four out of 100. And it's Slimer from Ghostbusters. I forgot what the artist were called. Jay Hall, I think he is. Yeah, Jay Hall. Yep. Quite liked his artwork. So I purchased that to go on display. And then I bought a gift for my sidekick. It well, is and it is a Harry Potter like, like, well, artwork obviously, like with Hogwarts there, the viaduct and the train, um, Hermione, I think, then Harry, and then probably Ron, I can't really tell. And this one is number 15 out of 100 by the same person. And that was a good purchase. Yep, I think that's all his recent purchases, and, and I think that's then... the end of the video. Oh. We've got the mean, biggest right? reveal. Oh, have you stayed tuned though? If you haven't stayed tuned, you won't see it. And you won't hear what we're saying right now. So, remember, like and subscribe. And then we're going to show you his last find. So, the story behind this was... Story behind this was um, I went up in the same attic that I got the Star Wars haul from, and that's why I went up there so I knew they had Star Wars stuff. I put my head through the attic, and the lady, the very nice lady Julie, whose house it was, said it's in the far corner, right hand corner. So I went up, looked in the right hand corner, and it was just boxes upon boxes upon boxes. And I had to get my way through all these boxes, move a box to move a box to move a box, all that kind of thing. And then I saw in the left hand corner, this, like a beam of light. It was like the holy grail in the attic. And this was the first thing I grabbed before any of the Star Wars. I'd have been happy to go on with just this. I was in shock. Have you stayed watching? Have you liked? Because here it goes. It is. Hey. An Optimus, Optimus Prime. Prime Transformers obviously goes out like that. His arms don't really work. Yeah, but no, they do. It's just that we don't know. How well, yeah, using. I mean, kind of don't want to break him. And, and the, box. the box. It is very battered, but, but it's still a box. What a find in an attic. Absolutely amazing find. We were, I were very shocked. It were like the toy gods had shone upon me and shown me the way to collect toys because finding that on your first that was first ever attic haul yep and i found that and that's our second ever box. like time going out really to like find something isn't it? with a box need to clean up yeah might be parts missing being played with but it's an Optimus Prime from 1980 stroke 82 with a box. Yep. Perfect find for an attic haul. I'm sure you'll agree. If you've got any comments about this in particular or about anything about the Dennis and Menace fan club, if you remember Dennis and Menace fan club, comment below. Yep. I want all the Beano fans in below. Um, if you like Star Wars. Comment below. Comment below. Tell us what your favourite Star Wars character or figure is. That's a good one. Tell us what that is. Um, tell us what you think of our video. Tell us what you think of our finds. And give us some feedback to see what we can improve. Yep. And remember to... Like and, and subscribe. subscribe! Down below. One of well, these ways. Yeah, I think the left we side. haven't got flashy graphics to put up yet. No. But like and subscribe. Well, we'll, we'll make an edit. So thanks for watching Forever Retro. I've been Mark and this has been my trusty sidekick, William. Will. Bye-bye.